today's video I'm going to be revealing a new car I just picked up recently um, and also in today's video we're going to be installing your what are we installing you want to tell us callus downpipes callus what callus downpipes I just see his car it's a 335 IS what's the IS stands for bro sporty sporty <laughs> oh look at this we have a 370Z in the building whose car is this Come on, you want to tell us about your car real quick? What have you done to it? Or what I have done to it? <laughs> oh! <laughs> well, it does have a Tomy exhaust on there. On here, you know. Uh, coil overs, you know. Okay. What, what kind of wheels are these? No. No? Are they wraps? I don't get the wheels anymore. Got her body kit on. AKA, what kind of body kit is this? Can't hear you. Say it louder. The Amuse kit. Amuse kit. This kit looks really awesome on this car. You know, I did a very good job installing it. And big shout out to Derek the man for painting the kit. Paint's kind of off, but that's okay. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Got this yesterday, but I didn't open it. How much did you spend on this? Like 400 wow. something, 469. That's not bad. Are you missing anything else for the exhaust setup? Uh, just the race exhaust, which is the... That should be here. coming end of this month sometime? Yeah. Right? That's going to connect to the end of this, the back. So it's going to be pretty much straight pipe. It's going to be loud. Are you excited? Yeah. Oh, he's excited. It's too, it's too quiet. You can tell by that smile. Oh fuck, bro! This might fucking. Well, I need to get a new fucking tripod. I came across this crazy opportunity. I could not pass it up. One of my buddies' turbos went out on his BMW. Yeah, so I had to go purchase it. I've been looking for one, and I'm excited to show you guys. Moments later. One eternity later. Eventually, it is a 240 S14. Um, car does need some work. Uh, the sunroof leaks a little bit water, as well as uh, it leaks water on the driver's side of the one of the passenger windows. The seal is kind of like messed up. Um, it came with some eBay coilovers. Oh, thank you very much. That's very nice of you. Uh, <laughs> hope you take this off and put it over here on the grass Wah! but this is strictly will be my drift car I will be building but I do have to finish the FD first before I start on this over here is going to show us the engine what it came with I'll tell you that it did not come with a KA it definitely came like with an RB25 now that does sound really nice that's the best part of the car is it the engine yeah, he loves it dude it sounds so nice it shoots out valve. flames at 4000 rpm yeah so the car needs a tune um i don't want to touch it it runs and drives fine right at the moment here's what the inside of the car looks like and with leather seats uh, it's all luxury all luxury nrg wheel the fuel gauge does not work at the moment um and they did came with a boost gauge as well as oil pressure gauge uh, back seats are in pretty good condition better than the front ones that's pretty much it and we will be building this car strictly for you know track uh, pretty much it's gonna be the drift car
guys can see we have to remove this panel right here uh, the cats are underneath uh, exactly underneath this panel and uh, you have to take the wheels off to make it more you know have more space in here and you know have to secure this with that and the jack stand safety always comes first better cover our eyes man oh i have my eyes covered you better cover your eyes where's your eyes protection at oh there we go that's what i'm talking about put my safety glasses on thank god thank god we gonna, gonna make sure we gotta put the oxygen sensors in the right areas and the mm -hmm. right connectors otherwise yeah. it's gonna have uh codes yeah definitely will have codes you don't want that in here there's not a lot of room in here it's like pretty like you know i wish we could really use a lift right now a lift would be really nice oh fuck gotta remove these ones put the new ones in and we should be good to go and so as we're taking this panel off look what we found can you see it where is it oh it's a pick it's been in my car the whole time I've never taken this underbody panel off before, but yeah, we got a free tool. <laughs> All right, guys. So pretty much what we had to do to get these Calic converter offs was we had to remove this valve cover over here, as well as these panels on top of this to get to the valve cover. And we're gonna go down here. My man's down here. There's like a thousand eight millimeter body panel bolts here. We took those off. Then after we had to take the power steering bolts off the rack and move it forward. And then finally we had access to the O2 sensors in the V bands for the down pipes right here. Dude, do you see how many screws are left underneath here? We're like, we're like freaking like how our backs are on these right here. Yeah, that was bad. That was a bad idea. We should have cut like converters right here with the v-bands obviously we're going to be reusing these o2 sensors that are on here and we're going to be installing these ones that he just purchased um after we install this we'll do a startup video see how it sounds hopefully it sounds good guys we got the down pipes installed finally Took mm -hmm. us the whole day. I put the key. This is the first initial. Wow, come on, dude. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, it's the baby. Okay, he's got it. You got the key? Oh, Hopefully my. Hopefully, no exhaust leak either. God, I don't think there's exhaust leak. I made sure those things were on there, bro. guys have any suggestions or comments or anything leave it down below until next time